This is bait. Life outside the Federal Witness Protection Program. Terrorism is complex and affects the weaknesses in every system. If you see something, say something. Hey, it's Suze, and welcome to this episode of Keep the Bad Guys Away. Hey, nice to see you. Boy, hey, this has been a day from hell. But first and foremost, let me just tell you, you know what? They're going to they're gonna hack the child support case. Like, I, are, I already feel it. Okay, so in the district that I'm in, in the county that I'm in, Imperial County, California, I already know they're going to try to hack this damn child support case because, as I said, I've been dealing with this for 10 years, and I know how this FBI task force works. So I'm attempting to stop that by just, you know, making notifications, you know, as appropriate to law enforcement. But I'm telling you, see, when, you, when you've got when you've got some major shit with that damn stupid fucking NCIC fucking goddamn FBI fucking criminal database, it's apparently got me and my son and my family listed as Al Qaeda. No, Al Qaeda. <laughs> That's his damn jackass father that's supposed to be paying child support that's got the warrant out in Harris County, Texas that's supposed to be reporting into ICE in Southern California and ICE can't deport him because of everybody else. Apparently, criminal aliens have to fulfill all their legal obligations like child support and any warrants before they can be deported. So that's why I said, if you st keep steering this child support case, this already very mishandled child support case that U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder should be fixing and is not. And if you keep preventing him from being returned to Harris County, Texas, based on a parole violation, well, then ICE is never going to be able to deport him. So now we have terrorists out roaming the streets. But keep in mind, you know, my situation also centers around some misconduct with the FBI and, and the very real possibility that they might have pawn the kids, traded the kids for terrorism information, because keep in mind, if you read the 9-11 Commission, the FBI is pretty damn fucking desperate to get terrorism information because they were, how should we say, um, criticized so heavily post 9-11 for the genocide on New York City and the hit on the Pentagon. So, you know, I keep trying to push this issue. So, but you know, I did meet some resistance tonight, but you know what, I just think, see, in my situation, because everything is terrorism related, I really, you know what, I have I have had to sit there and uh, sit here and study law enforcement terminology. Law enforcement terminology and, and, and understanding of law enforcement nomenclature just to try to convince law enforcement to take the situation seriously. I mean, even in iWatch, like say iWatch down in Houston, I had to go through four iWatch people before I really talked to somebody that I really felt like, you know, had a keen... Um, take on this situation, unlike Detective Aaron Banks with iWatch of LAPD that picked up on this right away. Now, Aaron Banks, boy, he is really smart, Detective Aaron Banks. He, he is super hella damn smart. But you know what? See, they're steering my nursing appointment again. And so I will probably, you know what, they're just trying to shove me out of this district. Now, keep in mind, I'm right on the U.S.-Mexico border, so there's a very, very high ICE presence around me. And, you know, with Congressman Henry Quayer saying the only help that I was going to get was from ICE, you know, the, the very, what, what they definitely want to do is they want to push me away from ICE, ICE Customs, and of course U.S. Border Patrol, and even Homeland Security investigations. So they are doing that again today, trying to steer me out away from my ICE guys. And then, you know, another thing happened today. I had this crazy situation. I was going to go stay over in Mexico. And I get over to Mexico, and there was something wrong with this hotel. Um, I, you know, I booked my hotels through the Dubly Shopping Network. You know, I'm a, I'm a VIP member with the Dubly Shopping Network, and in doing so, I've never had, I have not had any, had any problems with hotel bookings in Mexico or in the United States until today. Now, why is that important? Why, why would I have problems with a hotel booking today? Because the child support office for Imperial County told me that they were going to work on transferring my son's child support case out of Los Angeles. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I face the retaliation in different ways that look completely unrelated and organized crime. 
based on the fact that every time I try to go after my son in many, many different ways, whether I try to do it through different reporting or if I have to do it with, um, um, like I said, for child support. I mean, technically, you know, my son's father, he owes me child support. You know, he never provided ID when he took the paternity test. You know, the damn stupid fucking goddamn Humboldt County, California. Everybody lets him get away with it. It has financially impacted me tremendously. And, you know, to this day, I still I have a missing son because of this fucking goddamn fucking child support case. So, you know, it's, you know, if anything, what I probably should do is I probably should sue the damn state of California. You know, but if it wasn't terrorism related and such high crime related, you know, that's when I have to take a step back and, and, and realize the magnitude of the situation. That everything that happens to me, happens to my son, my family, or anything, is terrorism related. So keep in mind, terrorism is complex and affects the weaknesses in every system. Take some time to learn about terrorism and you'll understand that the most sophisticated and shady things is how terrorism usually works. Now, um, the See Something, Say Something campaign, that's a nationwide campaign, um, I believe it actually started out at NYPD after 9-11, I believe it's the origin of that and has spread nationwide and I, I've seen it in you know, many different, different types of law enforcement campaigns. I mean, this is what they say, and I, I remember I got this brochure from LAPD, from their counterterrorism unit. They say, if you just, if something doesn't smell right, report it. If something doesn't seem right, report it. If it doesn't look right, report it. Because that's how the terrorists work. They work in the most shady, mysterious ways. So, you know, it's... <laughs> It's not surprising that this, this situation continues to be mishandled. It's not surprising that I'm still meeting a lot of law enforcement resistance. And it's not surprising to me that that um, none of the issues that have gone on for 10 years have ever been prosecuted. But you know what? See, if all else fails, I've got the International Criminal Court. If all else fails, all the information has already gone up to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. They're very accommodating. I can do everything via email. But I would like to think one of these days that my own country would like to start taking responsibility for the shit um, caused by their own departments. That would be the Department of Justice. Anyway, that's tonight's episode of Keep the Bad Guys. Well, don't forget to get a stun gun from Damsel in Defense. You can shop online. Keep in mind there's terrorists out there and it's mostly due to law enforcement and legal negligence. They're nationwide. Keep your stun gun handy and I'll see you next time. Don't let them get you.